We're at the Natural Sciences Building at Sacramento City College, and we're going to be interviewing our chemistry professors to tell us their favorite fun facts about chem. Let's go. Something cool? Oh, my oh yeah. God. Testing. Okay. okay. Is this thing on? Tell me where to get. No, I'm recording. I'm Ella Lopez, and who am I here with? Bill Miller. What's your occupation? I teach chemistry at Sacramento City College. Could you give us a fun chemistry fact? Yes. So uh, I love coffee, and my fun chemistry fact is that uh, dark roast ha uh, coffee has a lower, it's a higher pH and less caffeine than light roast coffee. So I drink light roasts. I still drink dark roast. That was great. <laughs> Hi, I'm Natalie. I'm here with... Professor Joel Huang. Um, what is your occupation? Uh, I teach here at Sacramento City College. I'm a college professor. Okay, um, what is your favorite fact about chemistry? I can tell you one of my favorite facts is that uh, the trees that you see outside um, they're actually mostly made of the carbon dioxide that they suck into themselves. So all of that mass comes from air. Nice. It's pretty interesting. It's close enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dark. Oh, it's Candace and I'm with Dr. O. Oh, wait, we're recording? Yeah, we're recording. Okay, and we want to know what's your favorite chemistry fact? So there's too many for me to think of, but if I were to just off the top of my head right now. Um, my favorite element is gallium. And why is that? So gallium is a really interesting metal in that it has a really, really like, it, it melts at room temperature practically. So if you make like a bar out of it and you hold it in your hand, it'll just like melt because it melts like practically at room temperature. So like back in the 1800s or back in the olden days, was like a like a parlor trick people used to like invite their friends over for like tea and stuff and they would mold like a gallium spoon and people would come over and say like, oh i have some tea for you <laughs> and then they was like oh here's your spoon so you can stir like whatever you want to put in your tea and they would stir it and the spoon would just like vanish because the tea was hot they're like oh my god it's like magic no it's just a spoon made out of gallium it's, a, it's, it's really cool. a medieval it's a medieval prank yeah and there's actually like a book about not strictly gallium, but the name of the book is the disappearing spoon. And it's just about like all of the elements and all of their interesting little facts. And gallium has its own little section just about how it like, just has that interesting property of just melting at room temperature. I've always wanted to buy some, but I haven't had it. I've, I've got, I have bismuth, which is pretty cool. Show, show, show the bismuth, show it. Shop or something like that. All right, that's cool. Yeah, it was really cool. Candace, and we're here with? Uh, Dr. Tristan Eifler, adjunct professor of chemistry. All right, and what is your favorite chemistry fact? It's more of a chemistry story, the story of uh, the Haber process, by which uh, um, uh, nitrogen and gas and hydrogen gas are combined to form ammonia. The inventor of it, um, this, well, first of all, this process is probably the most important industrial chemical process in the world because it uh, allows you to produce uh, artificial fertilizer. It's thought to actually uh, generate the huge population boom between the 19th and 20th century. Now, the guy behind this um, is an interesting, just the reaction itself is interesting, but the guy behind him, it's interesting that um, he invented this. It was a great creator of life, but he was also the one who made chlorine gas and other gases into chemical warfare. And it's thought that he may have uh, contributed to the Nazis' use of chemical, uh, of, uh, the Germans' use of chemical warfare in World War One, World War Two. In fact, he was, uh, despite working very hard for his country, he was, you know, German. He was a German guy. Uh, he had to flee Germany later on to escape the Nazis because he was of Jewish de de descent. Mm. The story of this guy, um, oh, uh, Fritz Haber, I believe it is. That's his name. Uh, it's a fascinating story. Oh, wow. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We're walking up to a squirrel right now. We're going to interview the squirrel because, you know, it's part of Sac City. Um, this is Cat. Hold on. <laughs>